Hi guys! Today we are going to talk about hankies, ties, and scarves. Woohoo! Okay, so this is so fun, um, but I have to warn you that this video is going to be completely unprofessional and I'm kind of, I have my notes, but I'm kind of going off the cuff here. Um, all of these techniques are things that I kind of just worked with, kind of made up, or maybe it's something I learned a long time ago, and um, I just started using ties in place of necklaces. It adds some variety, some character, some depth, some texture, and I'm going to go ahead and put this camera down so that you can see the floor that I'm working with, um, and I'm sorry about the setting, but I do have to be in front of my mirror because I kind of have to be able to see what I'm doing, and I highly recommend that you do it in front of a mirror as well. It will help you big time. Okay, so I'm putting the camera down. And I'm hoping you can see this flat surface that we're going to be working with. Um, I did just vacuum yesterday, but I have three animals in here. So if it's dirty, please don't mind. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So first of all, we have a lot of variety here. Okay. There are so many different types of scarves, hankies, whatever you want to call everything out there. There's different shapes, sizes fabrics. Um, this is an actual tie, so we'll get to the tie tying. Some hankies are shorter and cottony, and this is good to know because this kind of fabric will create more friction, and that's going to help you decide which way you want to fold the piece to create your tie. Okay, these are more silky fabrics, and so they're going to be different to work with. And as you can see, these are all different sizes. So that plays into it as well a little bit, especially when you get to the bigger scarves. So I don't know if you can see, they're just all different here. So you're going to get different length options. Um, and it's going to affect how you choose to fold your piece to make your your little tie or your scarf. I'm just gonna to refer to it as a neck piece um, for now because I don't really know what else to call it. We're creating a neck piece and this is in place of jewelry and it's just going to be nice and lovely and add some richness to your outfit. Okay, so to get started, oh, sorry, let me get back to these hankies uh, or these handkerchiefs or geez Louise, bandanas. Um, bandanas are usually, in my experience, a little bit stiffer, so they can, they hold differently and they're going to get a different look depending on which way you wear it. Um, sometimes I like to tie the knot in the front and sometimes I like to have the bigger part in the front creating more richness up here closer to my neck. Okay, then we have these longer, bigger scarves and those are the ones that I want to really compare to tying an actual tie so we'll get to that in a little bit but for now let's start with the basics okay so let's start with this little guy here all right this is a square fabric hanky as you can see it's a little guy and because of this cottony material, this is going to create friction against itself, which is really beneficial for a particular type of um, folding. Okay, so I flipped the piece so that the nice rich side that I want to show is on the floor or the table, however you, whatever you're working with. All right, I'm creating this like diamond shape with it. And then we're going to fold corner to corner. All right. Very first steps of making a paper airplane. Do that. <laughs> All right. Then create a nice little crease here. And you are going to fold the hinky against itself toward the corner, not into itself. Okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because I really love this color and pattern and I want that to show okay so I'm creating these creases as I go and this is a trick that I actually learned in dance uh, in palms my senior year because we used bandanas for one of our routines um, so now we've created this nice beautiful long piece and as you can see all the colors that I want to show are on the outside 
What if I folded it the other way? All right, let's just take a look at that really quick. So if I folded it into itself, you can see that your color options are gonna be different, right? So what you have here is a nice white piece, but the white part will be in the back. So if you, if you like this look, that's okay. Um, and what you get here is a fatter fold right here. So it's not going to stay together as well, in my opinion. So I'm gonna redo this to fold away from itself the way that I like. And what I do with this end corner piece is that I make sure that this piece is facing down and against my skin. So this piece will be facing down and against the back of my neck. And the reason I face it down is because it has less of a chance of unraveling and it will stay together. And again, putting it against your neck will help it stay in place versus having it on the outside where it has more option to flip and fall apart and it might look a little funny as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, sorry, this is so unprofessional, but here we go. See, look at how cute that is. Nice little hanky. Okay, so you can tie this nice and low, creating like this little necklace, which is so fun. And then you just kind of play with the knots, make it work for you. And look at that, how cute, little necklace. Okay, so another way that you can tie this, oh gosh, I should have worn a different shirt, is right up against the neck. Okay, so look at that, let's take a look at that. How cute is that, it's so fun. Now. Look at the back, okay? This is folded into itself, I'm sorry, against itself. The corner is facing down and it's against my neck and see how well it holds this way. Um, you can wear this in the front if you like, but I like the knot in the front a lot of the time. Now the thing about the single knot is that it is gorgeous. It's not even a knot at all, it's just a single loop and it is beautiful, it's very feminine, it's soft. Um, it might hold better with fat, uh, the cotton fabric, but with silkier fabrics, this will unravel right away. So unfortunately, a lot of times you'll have to do a double knot. And this is going to be another thing that you're going to want to play with. But here, let me face it up a little bit more so you can see me. Okay. So I really like the way that this looks right here. It's very clean and very simple, and I really don't want to lose that, but unfortunately, I don't want to be messing with my hanky all day either. So I'm just going to create this nice little extra loop, and I'm not going to do it too tight, or I'm sorry, too tight. And that way I still keep some of the integrity of the original look. And I, I like this one a little offset. I think it's super cute and fun. Now this is a shorty, okay? So the shorty is gonna be, the knot's gonna be closer to your neck, creating a different look. Again, you could flip it around. You can play with this, um, make it a little fluffier, kind of a weird different little choker, and I mean weird in a good way. I think weird is great. Everyone should be a little weird. Okay, now um, I want to show you the same size hanky but in a different fabric, all right? This is much silkier. It's not gonna hold as well with the folding. So this is one that you might wanna fold into itself, but it's so short that I do fold this one the same way that I folded the other one, and it does, it does stay well, but one of my favorite ways to tie this silky material on a shorter one is to twist it. So instead of creasing and folding very deliberately. I'm just gonna loosely roll it against itself. And then I'm just going to grab it in the middle, kind of finish it off. And then I'm gonna start twisting this side in one direction. And then I'm going to twist this side in the other 
direction. All right, now I'm gonna face the camera so you can see what I do next. All right, so here you have your little twisty. Take your little twisty, same idea. I want this corner tucked so that I have a better chance of this not unraveling. And then I'm going to do a lower knot with this guy. And with the twisty, I like it in the center. I don't know why, personal preference, do your thing. All right, now look at how cute that is. This is so fun, I love this. Now the twisty might not stay as well, but you're getting a lot of character here, okay? Um, you can see some folds, you can see some imperfections, and I just really like that look. I think it's fun, and it's just a different way to wear. Eh, a little pinky. Okay, now let's move on to a bigger size. I really wanna talk about this amazing scarf. Of course, it's from Leopard, duh. It's beautiful, I love it. It's so silky, I wear it so many different ways. It's amazing. You can tie this around your purse or your bag or your hat, it's so fun. So this is a bigger square scarf, okay? Now, I kinda wanna do the same thing. I'm putting the richer color on the floor or the table or the surface that you're working with so that that stays on that, that will end up on the outside. Let me adjust this a little bit so you can see. All right. This one is so fun, so, so fun, so many options. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it in a diagonal again. And the reason why you wanna fold it in a diagonal, I forgot to mention earlier, is that you are creating length, okay? Folding it in a square shortens your length and it shortens your options on how to wear it. And like, I don't wanna look like I'm going to the gym. All right, so forget the sports towel, let's create a neck piece. Okay, so we have our diamond folding diagonal corner to diagonal corner, like paper airplane, not a hamburger. So you have your triangle. Okay, now you guys, first and foremost, just take this alone, just this, okay? And tie it around yourself. This is like a little cowl neck. Oh my God, how stinking cute is that? I love this drapey look. This is super cute and fun. Sorry, I should keep the orientation the same, huh? Um, and you can play with this. I like to have a little bit of this peak showing, this back corner. Oh, I just think this is so fun, so pretty. Okay, so moving on from that. I'm gonna do this knot. I still have my triangle. Now this guy, watch what happens when you fold it into itself. Because it's so silky, there's no friction. So this piece is going to be very vulnerable to unraveling, which is fine. Because folding it away from itself this way and not being perfectly straight and wrapped and everything like that is going to give you, again, more character, less perfection, more variety. Um, but I'm gonna do the same thing with this little corner tab, keeping it on the inside against my skin, pointing down. Okay, already, I mean, hello. Do we even need to do anything else? This doesn't even, this doesn't look like a gym towel. This looks like a neck piece. So I just love this, this is so cute. Now, this one you can wear really low, which I love, 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 love. All right, so fun. But what happens is throughout the day, this starts to come apart. So you're gonna get a fluffier scarf and it's gonna be imperfect and you might have to just tuck it back in and that's okay, it's fine, it's beautiful, it still looks amazing, it's not a big pain in the butt everything's good. If you wanted to tie this closer to your neck. I mean, this is just so cute. But look at this single knot with the silk. This is gonna come undone right away, right? So 
you kind of have a little choice. Hello. A little choice with this one. So again, see how it's already starting to unravel? But that's okay. Everything's fine. Life's not perfect. So I'm just going to create this really nice second knot here. And there you go. So fun. Okay, let's take a look at this one if we fold it into itself and how different that looks. So you start with your triangle. Right? And again, you're not going to get good creases with these silkier materials. So I'm just going to like fold it and roll it into itself as best as I can. Okay, so this is the difference in look. I have all these fun little bumblebees. It's nice and white. I have less color. And then you have this little sandwich ending instead of the folded um, corner. All right, so I want the sandwich um, opening facing down, okay? If it's facing open, this thing is going to come apart in no time. So sandwich facing, sandwich opening facing down, just like the tip of the triangle. Wrap it again, and look at this, a completely different look. Because it's white, it's different. So you can even get a lot of variety with one simple scarf. And this stays longer for me throughout the day. Bada bing, bada boom. It's that easy. How freaking cute. Now take that same idea and wrap it around your purse. Wrap it around your hat. Do whatever you want. It's fun. Okay, let's talk about a bandana really quick. I'm going to use this guy because this guy is... A stiffer fabric and I love that it holds very very well for the things that I want to do okay so again we have the square shape so I'm gonna lay this rich side down on the surface creating my diamond and then we're folding into a triangle now remember that cowl neck that we just did with the silky scarf do that with this one you're going to get a completely different look. It's shorter. So I would do this for a less elegant affair. The other one was a little bit nicer look, creating that nice cowl neck. But look at how fun that is. I love that. It's fun. It's fun. Hello. Okay. Now let's keep going and show the different folds with this material and what happens this one i definitely want to fold away from itself that's my favorite way to wear these um cotton scarves because i like a lot of the print to show and i want to see all the color and variety and it's just my favorite so that's what we're doing first all right there you have it there's my little tab. Tab goes in the back. Nice little scarf. You can wear it lower, higher, to the front, little choker. Same diff, right? Okay. Folding it into itself. This one you can create butter creases with. And the width doesn't matter. It's whatever you want it to be. If you want a wider width, make wider folds. If you want a skinnier width, just make skinnier folds. All right, so there we go. There it is. You can see that my sandwich mouth opening is not totally even, and I don't care. Because once again, life's not perfect. But what I do want to still make sure of is that the opening is down, 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 down. I love this. This is so fun. See, look at that. How cute. 
<laughs> okay. Let's move on to the bigger stuff. I'm going to stop here and follow up with the ties on the next video.